Welcome into the first edition of Gacho Prime Sports. I'm your host, Stephen Wilson, for UCSB Athletics. I'll be joined shortly by Ashley Martin, my co-host. This week in sports is a jam-packed for the Gachos, as the men's volleyball team heads to Hawaii and the men's basketball team hosts two televised games at home. Today, we'll get you caught up on all the action around Gacho sports, including women's basketball, women's water polo, and we'll catch up with James Nunley from the men's basketball team. But first, let's take a look at men's volleyball and see how they did this past week. The Gachos played host to Pepperdine, who they haven't beaten since February 2006. Gacho Vision was there to catch all the action. The Gacho seniors have never beaten the Waves, but that streak was bound to change. In the first set, the Gachos were up big early, with Scott Slaughter and Jeff Menzel counting for three blocks and 12 kills. Pepperdine would storm back and come within one, 24-23, but Menzel ended the would-be comeback, as UCSB took set one, 25-23. UCSB never allowed the Waves to climb back into the match as they took both Game 2 and Game 3, 25-13 and 25-17 respectively. UCSB improves its record to 5-4 and four overall and 3-3 three and three in the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation. As the men's volleyball team was controlling the court, the women's water polo team had a heartbreaking loss against Michigan 11-10 in sudden victory, but later on in the day defeated Concordia 10-7. As for the women's basketball team, they used a big second half effort, defeating Cal State Northridge 71 48 on the road. As for the men's basketball team, I recently caught up with James Nunnally. Hi, I'm Ashley Martin here in the Thunderdome with James Nunnally. How are you doing, James? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. In your last week's game, um, you guys won against Cal Poly, and you had your buzzer beater shot. Uh, you guys celebrated awesome, but the ref told you to stay on the court because they had to review your shot. What was going through your mind then? Um, after the ref told me, uh, told us uh, they had to review it, I just I knew I, I knew I made the shot. You know, I knew I got off in time, so I was waiting for the celebration to begin. Great. And what are your career goals after graduating here from UCSB? Um, I want to pursue my goal to play professional basketball, either in the NBA or overseas. And do you have a specific team that you want to go for? Uh, I'm a Lakers fan, but I want to go back home and play for like the Warriors or the Sacramento Kings. Great. And in this coming week, you guys have two televised games, and you obviously showed us how you can win on television. So what's going to go through your mind through these next two games? How are you guys going to be able to achieve a win? Our first, uh, our first objective is to, you know, we want to win these next two games. Uh, and our second one is we want all the fans to come out here and support us because uh, we get to get that home, home, court, home court advantage when they're out here. You know, it's a, it's, a different, it's a different vibe when they're here to support us. So we like to have all the Gaucho Locos come out and support us. Great, thank you very much. And make sure to come in the Thunderdome and catch James Nunnally and the rest of the team this week. The Gatchels will be back in action at the Thunderdome this Thursday as they host Pacific in a game that will be featured on ESPNU. All the action begins at 8.30 Pacific time. That'll do it for the first edition of Gatcho Prime Sports. Be sure to tune in next week as we get you caught up on all your Gatcho sport favorites. Also, be sure to check us out on the web at ucsbgachos.com, where you can find all your favorite highlights, players, stats, and scores, including James Nunnally's game winner buzzer beater over Cal Poly. That's the best highlights of the month. For Ashley Martin, I'm Stephen Wilson, saying so long from Santa Barbara.